English opening, four knights, kingside fianchetto line, four, d5 5 dot cx d5 nx d5 6 dot bg2 nb6 7 dot oob7 8 dot a3. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 square. The conflict for the e4 square is started with nc3, which controls d5. The bishop and queen with dark squares can grow in the center thanks to move e5. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. Nc6 develops the knight, defends the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g2, where it will take up residence on the long diagonal. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Game's master. It is the final book action. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it? It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. That falls flat. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This blows the chance to make a bishop threat. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a rook. That falls flat. This blocks the attack on a rook that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. By assaulting the enemy bishop, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is ideal. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. That's good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only move that works. It is best. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. 
a pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a chance to seize a queen that was in danger of seizing material. It is incorrect. The queen is therefore moved to safety. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a fork piece threat. That's good. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It's compelled. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. That's good. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. That's good. This pins a knight to the king. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. 
It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This evades the check from the pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. It was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 